carrying 30,000 tons of corn. This ship could have been the last to leave Ukrainian ports if Russia hadn't agreed to extend the deal to allow vital grain deliveries. The pact brokered by the UN and Turkey in Istanbul last summer allows safe export of Ukrainian and Russian produce through Black Sea to the world markets. A joint coordination center with representatives from the three countries and the UN was set up in Istanbul to oversee the shipments. The importance of the Black Sea Initiative and the parallel memorandum of understanding between the UN and the Russian Federation is clear. These agreements matter for global food security. Ukrainian and Russian products feed the world. The initiative has enabled the safe shipment of about 30 million tons of crops since July 2022 and helped alleviate the global food crisis aggravated by Moscow's invasion of Ukraine, one of the world's leading grain exporters. The duration of the latest extension was about to end. With the efforts of our country and the support of our Russian and Ukrainian friends, it is agreed that the Black Sea Grain Corridor will be extended for two months. The deal is now safe for two more months, but lack of coordination between Ukraine and Russia blunt its effectiveness. There is a chance, not in words but in deeds, to help ensure global food security and, first of all, to help the countries that need it the most. Secondly, our fundamental assessments of the Istanbul agreements of July 22-2022 have not changed and the distortions of their implementation should be corrected as quickly as possible. Kiev accuses Moscow of deliberately interrupting export inspections, while Moscow maintains that hurdles to their shipments have not been removed despite the fact that their grains and fertilizers are immune from Western sanctions. The grain deal was extended once more after difficult talks between concerned parties and after Russia had threatened to withdraw. But Moscow's refusal to a longer extension is an indication that the crucial agreement is still fragile. Sinam Kosolo, Al Jazeera, Istanbul.